Morning folks, I'm out this morning with my boy Tom to do a spot of cooking. We're gonna spit roast a nice leg of lamb over the fire, but the first thing we need to do is put some firewood. first time. Face it on. Good job mate. I'm going to be using a new toy that I received this week through the mail from Trevor at TJM Metalworks and it's a, a spit roaster. So you get two legs like this which you put into the ground and there's this beautiful ironwork at the top there creating a slot and then you have this piece here which is a, a prong and it's spiked on both ends and you put that through the meat the second prong stops the meat from spinning and that rests in these slots here. Um, because the uh, holder itself that you put the meat on is square section, that fits in those slots and it holds it in position, stops it rotating. So every time you want to turn the meat, you just lift it up, pop it back down again and um, it holds it in that new position. And it comes in this really cool purpose-made wax canvas pouch so it doesn't make all the contents of your bag all sooty. That's made by Trevor's brother David. I'll put links to the spit roaster in the description box down below and to David's site as well. He makes a whole load of uh, different bags and pouches and things. Really clever stuff, all sort of like modular pouches that fit inside your pack, organise all of your gear. Really good stuff. It was a really nice surprise when Tom said that he wanted to come and join me for this video, especially after what I said in my last video about him uh, being all grown up and not wanting to come and do this sort of stuff anymore. So it's really nice. I'm going to make the most of it as well because Tom's at Catering College. He's training to be a chef, so um, he can do all the prep work. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> right, so here is our lamb. Got a nice half leg of lamb there. Should just about be enough for the two of us. Tom, what do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> and uh, we're gonna stud that with garlic. I've got some smoked garlic here, which probably isn't necessary because it's gonna get that smoky flavor from the fire, but hey, why not? And some rosemary. So I'm gonna get Tom to just make some in incisions into the lamb here and insert these garlic cloves and a bit of rosemary, and then we'll get that on to roast.
And the last thing I'm going to do is just to smear a bit of butter on it. I mean, lamb is fatty anyway, but that'll help just to kind of sear it a little bit. That's my thinking anyway. heat going on here Tom. Definitely. More heat, um, the more it will cook. It will, although we don't want it to cook too quickly. No. Low and slow my man, low and low, slow. Low and slow. You'll notice that I've got the lamb just to the side of the fire, not directly over it. I don't want that intense heat from, from underneath. Um, I want it to cook a bit more slowly. And it also means that I can put a dish underneath the lamb to catch the juices, which I can then use to baste the lamb as it cooks. How you doing, Tom? I'm good. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. How's that log chair of yours? It's very comfortable. I feel like I'm living in luxury. Well, that's because you are. <laughs> To go with that lamb, we're going to make a mint sauce. Where we are today, there is literally a carpet of the stuff that's growing everywhere. You walk around here and all you can smell is that lovely sweet smell of mint. So we're going to collect a load now, get it on to steep in some boiling water and make some sauce. Do you just want the leaves rather just, than the root? Yeah, no, no, just the leaves, my man. Time to turn it again. Mm. That will look good now, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. Mm-mm. Look there. Right, I need about a handful of mint for this mint sauce recipe and I need to chop it up so I'm going to try and chop it as finely as I can it's not easy on my tiny chopping board that I bought with me today and then back into the cup
the mint has had a few minutes to steep and uh, rather than letting that lovely water go to waste we're going to have it as a tea Here you go Tom, careful it's really hot. Thank you. Got it? Yep. How was it Tom? Mmm, really good. Minty? Very minty. <laughs> I mentioned earlier about bags made by David Fryers, Trevor's brother. This is one of them. You'll have seen me use this in a few videos lately. Um, I've been using this as a food bag. Really good, really good quality. I love that it's got a Velcro closure as well as the roll top closure because it keeps the earwigs out of your food. Right, I've got my chopped up mint, which has been steeping in that hot water. Into that, I'm gonna add some vinegar. I've got two tablespoons of malt vinegar here, just going in, and I've got about two teaspoons of white sugar, and just a, a little bit of salt. Oh, oh, oh look at that. I don't think we're too far off now, Tom. No, definitely not. So how was that mint tea, Tom? That's nice. Honestly. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> right and Tom, you ready? Yes, I definitely am. Oh, that looks oh, it's gorgeous. It's a little bit pinky still. Right, I don't mind my, don't mind my, don't mind my meat. <laughs> Get your words like out, that. Tom. <laughs> tongue twister. A tongue twister. Yeah, no, you gotta have, you gotta have a little bit of pink in your lamb, mate. Definitely. Definitely. A nice little slab of garlic there, mate. Mm. Mint sauce, Tom. No, thank you, Dad. I'll pass. <laughs> I'm for a load on mine. There you go, Tom. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> no, 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 that's good. Oh. Mm. So tender. That is, oh. That's perfect, isn't it? Succulent. Mm. Absolutely perfect. Super tender. Oh. I don't know why you didn't want mint sauce, Tom, because the mint sauce is perfect with it. I'll stick with my sweet ketchup. So thank you. <laughs> the last time we had lamb out in the woods was that time you broke your fork. Remember, your mm. fork. Yeah. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? A long time ago.
Well, that was delicious. That spit roaster was absolutely perfect for the job. Uh, Tom's just collecting up some mint to take home, and then we're going to get things packed away here, get this fire out, and um, and head off back. I've absolutely got the meat sweats. <laughs> yeah, really good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. See ya.